to do my air brake test. First test I want to do is my lower air warning. Okay. And my lower air warning it must activate between 55 and 75. Okay. It could either be a light or a buzzer. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my service brake until when the light or buzzer is activated. See how I slow the pumping down? Once I notice that one of my gauges got close to 60, look. There it is. My primary is at 60, my secondary is at 60. This was a good test because it was activated between 55 and 75. Next test I want to do is my air compressor cutout. It must cut out no higher than 130 psi. So I'm going to rev my engine up to 1100 RPMs and I'm going to hold it there and I'm going to watch my primary and secondary gauge. When they stop moving, that means my compressor cut out. Okay. So now we wait. Okay, my gauges are no longer moving. My primary is at 120, my secondary is at 120. This was a good test because it didn't go over 130 psi. Next test I want to do is my air compressor cut in. It must cut in no lower than 85 psi. So I'm going to step on my brake hard one time. I'm going to hold it for a little bit. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to rev the engine up. I'm watching my primary gauge, see if it starts moving. Okay, it's moving now. My primary started to rise at 100. My secondary started to rise at 100. This was a good test because it didn't go lower than 85 psi. Next test I want to do is my applied brake leakage test. I'm going to bring my air pressure back up to maximum. Now on this test I cannot lose no more than 4 psi within 60 seconds. So now I'm all, all the way up to maximum. First thing I want to do is put my truck in gear. I'm going to shut the engine off. Now the truck's completely off, right? I'm going to take my foot off the clutch. I'm going to turn my key back on. Make sure you guys don't try to fire up the engine, okay? Now I'm going to release my parking brakes. Releasing them is by pushing them in, okay? Now the reason why we put this truck in gear is because that's the only thing that's holding the truck back when you release your parking brakes. Okay. I'm going to let my gauges stabilize. Okay, they're stabilized now. I'm going to go ahead and put pressure on my service brake and then I'm going to let them stabilize again. You guys know what that means, right? Maintain. And they're no longer moving. Maintain. Okay, my primary is at 80, my secondary is at 80. I'm going to hold this pressure down for 60 seconds. Can you please time me? If you don't have a watch, you ask us, oh, can you please time me? Then we'll start timing you for 60 seconds. Once the 60 seconds is up, we're going to say, okay, you're going to give me the reading again. 
My primary is still at 80. My secondary is still at 80. This was a good test because I did not lose more than 4 PSI within 60 seconds. Okay. Now I'm going to let that one break. Okay. You notice after I finish explaining all this, that it was a good test and all that, I let go of the brake, right? Do not let go of the brake pedal until when you're done explaining everything, okay? Now, when you guys are doing this test, watch your gauges, okay? And remember the, the reading that you gave the first time, okay? Now, if you notice that you lost more than 4 PSI, you're going to say, oh, this is a bad test because I lost more than 4 PSI within the 60 seconds, right? Because we are going to be looking at the gauges when you're doing that test, okay? If we notice that you lost more than 4 PSI and you told me this is a good test, you're going to fail, okay? Now, if, if you notice that you did lose more than 4 and you told me, oh, this is a bad test because I lost more than 4 PSI, now the truck fails, not you, okay? You'd rather have the truck fail than you fail, okay? That's only if you notice that you lost more than 4 PSI, right? Now, I'm going to do my spring brake test, okay, on this one it has to be activated between 20 to 45, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and pump my brake pedal until my parking brakes pop out, that's the spring brake. There it is, right, you heard them and you're seeing them pop up, right. Now you're going to give me a reading. My primary is at 30, my secondary is at 30, this was a good test. Because they, they both were activated between 20 and 45. Okay? Now, since my brakes are already set, I'm going to go ahead and take my truck out of gear. I'm going to go ahead and turn my truck on. And I'm going to build my pressure back up to maximum. You guys know when I say pressure, right? It means the air pressure. This is still part of the test right here. Well, I'm going to build my air pressure back up to maximum so I can do my next test, right? Next test is my parking brake test, right? So now, remember what I said. You cannot start any of these tests with your air pressure lower than what? 90. 90 PSI, right? But I always like to bring it up to 100. The only one you want to bring all the way back up to maximum is your cutout and your applied brake, uh, applied brake leakage test. Those are the ones you want to bring up to maximum. Which is one for Yeah. I mean, but if we do take all the way to max, it's not yeah. going to kill us. Yeah. It won't hurt you by taking all the way to max. Each test. Yeah. Okay. Take a little longer, but... There is no time limit. Right. I have one guy that took about 45 minutes to do the whole oxygen. So, we'll have, you'll go through all this and get with us before we... Oh, this is the last time. Yeah. Okay, my primary and secondary gauge are 100. And now I'm going to perform my parking brake test. Okay. Now, remember, the top one is your tractor brakes, the bottom one is your trailer brake. Okay. So now I'm going to put my truck in gear. I want to check the brakes on my trailer, right? I want to see if they hold back, right? So I'm going to release the tractor brakes. So I can check my trailer brakes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and tug on it a little. See how it doesn't move? It's holding me back, right? So that was good, right? So now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my parking brake back on on my truck. Now I'm gonna release my trailer brake because I'm gonna check my tractor brake now. So I push it in, let the clutch out a little bit. It's not moving, right? So that was good too, right? So I'm gonna put my parking brake back on on my trailer, put, put it in neutral. And I'm going to say, this was a good test because all my brakes help. Right? Now, I'm going to do my uh, service brake test. Okay. Now, on this test, I'm going to go ahead and put my truck in gear. I'm going to go ahead and release my parking brakes. Now, I'm going to put both hands on my steering wheel with my palms open at, on each side of the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and pull up 5 miles an hour. I'm gonna gently step on my I'm gonna step on my clutch down first and gently step on my brake. Now I'm gonna see if it pulls me to the left or to the right. If I feel my truck pull me to either side, that means my it can mean my brakes are out of adjustment or I have a low tire.
push the clutch down. I'm going to gently step on the brake. This was a good test because it didn't pull me to the left or to the right. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and back it back up. Back on. Now, since I'm done with my air brake test, now I'm going to go ahead and do my in cab inspection. Okay. First thing I want to check is my seatbelt. It's the closest thing to me, right? So I'm going to check my seatbelt. I'm going to make sure it's not cut, frayed, or damaged in any way. I'm going to make sure it latches and unlatches freely. Now I'm going to check my mirrors. I'm going to check all the mirrors on my truck. Because if you guys notice, there's more than one mirror in this truck, right? So you're going to say, I'm going to check all my mirrors. I'm going to make sure they're properly mounted. None of them are broken loose or missing. That they're all in good condition. From there, I'm going to go to my windshield. On the windshield, I'm making sure there's no illegal stickers on it, no cracks, no pivots on it. Make sure it's in good condition. From there, I'm going to go to my windshield wipers. I'm going to make sure they're properly mounted, that they have the tension against the windshield, that the rubber blades are not dry rotted, cracked, or damaged in any way. Now, I'm also going to make sure they're both in good working condition, and I'm also checking my washer fluid. See this switch here? You're going to push it up towards the steering wheel, and it'll give you your wipers and washers at the same time. Once you let it go, it'll shut down by itself. From there, I'm going to come in, I'm going to check my heater and defroster. I'm going to make sure that they're both in good working condition. After that, I'm going to come up to my steering wheel. I'm going to check my city horn and my highway horn. I'm going to make sure they're both in good working condition. From there, I'm going to come and check my left turn signal, right turn signal, high and low beams, and my four-way flashers. I'm going to make sure that all these lights are all in good working condition. That would that, that stuff's not on this one. Yeah, it is. Well, let me finish this okay. off real quick. Now, after the, the four-ways, you're going to check your, your gauges now. First gauge I want to check is my oil pressure gauge. It should read between 40 to 60. I'm going to check my temperature temperature gauge. It should read between 180 to 200. I'm also going to check my voltage gauge. My voltage gauge is digital. I can't see it, but I know it's supposed to be between 12 to 14 volts. I'm going to check my primary and secondary gauge gauges. We know that they work good because we've been doing our air pressure and all that test, right? So now, these are the two last gauges you're going to talk about. After that, you're going to say in the back of the jockey box, I should have my emergency equipment. I should have three reflected triangles. They should all be in good condition. I should have a fire extinguisher, properly mounted, green tag, up to date, and a pin in it. And I should have spare fuses for the truck. And that concludes my inside inspection.